Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is India and today we're going to be doing a two minute book review of Vows in Name Only by Naima Simone. Are you guys ready? Well, let's get started. So Vows in Name Only follows both Devin, who is our female lead, and Kane, who's our male lead, and they end up having to have a marriage of convenience due to blackmail. I know, crazy, right? So Kane is a multi-billionaire, and then Devin has everything that she could possibly want in life. Her dad has built himself up from having nothing or having limited things to trying to be a part of the elite socialite lifestyle. And in doing, while doing that, her mother dies slash his wife dies and after that Devin's dad becomes a completely different person um, than she knows while Devin all she wants to do is really help out at a youth center near um, near where she currently lives um, Kane on the other hand is just trying to be the billionaire um, person in his life and then his dad dies and basically his dad gave him gave him one more f you and <laughs> give him one more f you and all these stipulations in his will in order for him to become the sole member or the um major shareholder major trust holder of his business um he has to complete all these things and in doing so so has to marry Devin in order to not have his mom be put out in the fray of the black males. But, so, <laughs> I, so I gave this book four stars. I genuinely did enjoy it. There were some aspects I just didn't like and I don't like miscommunication. I mean, I do like when, I mean, I do understand like needing to have their own secrets and their own stuff, but I guess I didn't like how they were both so harsh to each other at the very beginning, even though they both were in their own their own shit store they really were and so i didn't like that and how they couldn't find a way to like band together to get through this they kept trying to push each other apart until finally it all just kind of meshes together um but i did read this for black author readathon um so yeah it did just come out in 2020 so it is rather new so but i enjoyed it it's the billionaires of boston number one um so i did give it a complete four star read and that's it for me guys so don't forget to hit that bell notification hit that subscribe button don't forget to follow me on all the social medias and until next time keep turning the pages